In this video, I'm going to show you how you can correctly calculate the steps per millimetre value of your 3D printer's extruder. So the things we're going to need to calculate our steps per millimetre for extruder are a ruler, a sharpie or permanent marker, I'm going to be hooking up my 3D printer to my PC and I'm going to be using a free application called Prontoface to interact with my 3D printer. Now before we start calculating our steps per millimetre value, one thing you're going to want to make absolute certain is that your extruder is not skipping steps, otherwise it will completely invalidate your calculated steps per millimetre value at the end of this video. So with that said, Let's get straight into working out our steps per millimetre value. Alright, so welcome to Prontoface. Now, with this bit of software, I've connected it to my 3D printer and I've got the hot end warming up. And while that's warming, we can go ahead and put a mark on our filament. Measuring from the top of the extruder, we're going to put a mark at the 150 millimetre point. Now, we're going to tell the printer to extrude 100 millimetres of filament. So why have we put the mark at 150 millimetres? Well, if our printer is over extruding, in other words, we tell it to extrude 100 millimetres and it actually extrudes 120 millimetres, that mark is going to disappear down into our hot end, so we've lost our reference. So we're going to mark it higher on the filament then we're going to tell it to extrude so that hopefully our reference point is still above the extruder and we can get a measurement. So now we're at temperature, we can go back to Prontoface and in this box we can select our length to extrude. So I'm going to use a 100 millimeter value for this test. And in this box we can set our speed. And I'm going to use a value of 80 millimeters per minute. With those set, I'm going to hit extrude and our printer is going to extrude what it thinks is 100 millimetres of filament. We'll see if that's actually the case after it's finished. Alright, so the printer's just finished extruding what it believes is 100 millimetres of filament, but let's measure that. So my mark is right now at the 60 millimeter point. So remember we marked this 50 millimeters higher than we told the printer to extrude. So we need to subtract that from our figure now, which is 60 millimeters. So we're left with 10 millimeters. And what does that mean? Well, that means our extruder in reality has extruded 90 millimeters of filament, not 100, because we've got 10 millimeters left. So, now it's time to do some figures and number crunching. Um, now one value we do need to know is the printer's current settings. Uh, and to find that out, if you don't know it already, type M503 in the command prompt, hit enter, and the printer will tell us all its settings. And in this case, this line right here refers to the steps per millimetre value for X, Y, Z and E for the extruder. So in my case, the steps per millimetre value is 95.25. So I'll open up our calculator. We will enter um, 95.25, which is our current steps per millimetre value. We're going to times that by our target extrusion length of 100 millimetres, hit equals. And we're going to divide that by the real world length of filament it extruded, in my case 90 millimetres hit equals, and there is our new steps per millimetre value, 105.8. So at this point you can enter that into your Marlin software, re-upload it to your printer, and your extruder steps per millimetre value should now be correct. If you want, you can repeat this test to verify that it is indeed the correct value, but in most cases that's not required. So at this point you should have your printer's extruder steps per millimetre value correct. Hopefully all is working well and I hope you can enjoy many happy prints. So if you found this video useful at all please hit that like button, it would be much appreciated. 
and also consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. There'll be a lot more content similar to this and a wide variety of other content as well. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.